whatever you want to call it. This recipe is just packed with nuts, seeds, wholesome goodness, high protein, high fat, low carb, zero added sugar. One cookie will keep you full up from breakfast till lunch, but to be honest, all the ingredients are so good, you might as well just have two or three. So this is a super simple recipe. All you need are four ingredients. We've got nut butter, key ingredient. 240 grams of ground almonds, butter, of which there are six tablespoons or around 150 grams. This I'm gonna melt gently in a saucepan or in the microwave. 70 to 80 grams of xylitol. I prefer my cookies on the less sweet side, but if you prefer them sweeter, feel free to add a little more. If you're a chocolate fan like myself and think that this recipe could benefit from a little bit of the brown stuff, go ahead and whack in 40 grams of cocoa, which I'm gonna do now. Mix all those ingredients together, simple as that. Now you'll probably find that the dough, once you mix it all together, is very crumbly. That's normal, so just don't worry about it. It'll freeze together when you pop it in the freezer, which we're going to do now. You want a big flat sheet of cling film, like this. And all you want to do is plop your dough in there and roll it up into a cylinder. Your hands are going to get messy. That is part of the joy of cooking. Should look something like that. Maybe a bit shorter, maybe a bit thicker, depends what size and shape you like your cookies. And then all you want to do is pop it in the freezer for 30 minutes. So what you'll end up with should look something like this. It doesn't matter if it misshapes it in the freezer, mine got caught on a kink as you can see. I wouldn't worry too much, just as long as they hold their shape enough in the oven. And then in a knife, so slice them into little discs. I like them to be about half a centimetre thick each. It's very hard not to eat the dough while you're doing this because it basically tastes like chocolate fudge. So when you've done that, get your pre-greased baking tray. So you have your cookies spread out, roughly like so. Then just pop them in the oven and you want to leave them in there for roughly 10 minutes but keep a very careful eye on them because they're thin and they're very delicate. As you can see, when you take them out, they're actually still going to be a bit squidgy. That is the nature of this ground almond shortbread mix. They're going to crisp up as they cool. The longer you leave them to cool, the more solid they'll be. Once they are thoroughly cool, then remove them from the pan. And that comes the fun part. We're going to sandwich them. So, get your nut butter. This is the simple part, really. As long as you can avoid eating the butter with the spoon instead of sandwiching the cookies, then simple as. 